KUAM Sports is brought to you by Docomo Pacific. Better together. KUAM Sports Weekend Roundup is brought to you by Gatorade. Greatness starts with G. But Coach Daldell, you know, uh, we can get you ready mentally. We can get you ready physically. We can teach you about, again, uh, you know, the nature of competition. But what you're also doing at these camps and these combines is looking for specific skills and you're assessing um, athletes doing specific things. So um, what should people who want to consider participating in this, how should they get ready and what are you going to be looking for? Main thing, uh, take care of your body, right? Nutrition plays a big part in it. We have, um, the, we have a combine on the 12th of uh, October. Uh, Coach Harmon will be at that one. And then these two gentlemen, they're going to be coming in in mid-December. We're looking right around the 12th, 13th, 14th for their actual combine. So that's you got a couple of months, right? You got this one in October to get you started, kind of give you a gauge. And then we're going to give you November to get you uh, rest of October and November. And then these guys are coming in like rock stars uh, that they are in, in one motivation, two drive and determination. And then third, but most important to me is to help kids understand the truth of being at the next level. So for those guys who are uh, and looking at coming out, get your cardio right. Uh, and get yourself into a gym, uh, get your eating right, let the red rice go for a little while. It, it'll be there. You right? can do let it. Red, it can be done. It can be done. Uh, and, and get your nutrition plan. There are a lot of folks here on Guam who are willing to help us, uh, help young folks, but it takes commitment. And so uh, we're going to run the 40 time. They're going to have the, they'll have the 40 time. We're going to give them the, the shuttle drills, the L drill, and uh, – we're going to do some position drills. So all it's going to be open to all positions, not just our skill guys, um, because that's what we produce a lot here in Guam just because of the size. But there are some bigger guys. And we've done camps before where uh, we were able to get some big guys some looks. But this time to have both these coaches here, man, it's going to be great. So December is going to be a great time for these young folks. But don't overlook October to give yourself a benchmark of where you need to be. Okay, so Coach D as well, what's typically your, your first message when, you know, you see all of the participants, they're all lining up, some of them are, you know, uh, probably a little bit on the nervous side or just have, you know, anxiety, other guys are like, uh, you know, like, you know, too cool to care, you know, you, it's, that's what happens when you deal with like young people, right, but looking out at the crowd, what typically are your first words to them as far as, you know, what they're about to experience, the training they're about to go through, and then the message you're trying to get across to them? I think the the biggest thing is that what we're looking for is effort. You know, they, we want them to learn how to compete. When they're doing these drills, it's all com competitive, but sometimes you're not going to do things against other people. So in these particular tests are individual tests. So they got to learn to compete against themselves and push themselves. So as Coach Dowdell talked about is in October, they would have an opportunity to prepare themselves. But if they didn't do anything and they're coming in December, our biggest things, if it's your very first time doing something, first, make sure that you're well stretched out and that you're prepared mentally to go through some things. I see a lot of kids when they go through combines is they pull muscles on a regular basis because a lot of them aren't in shape. So I think the biggest thing is teaching them how to give their very best effort out there. Learn how to finish. No matter what you do, run through the line. Show the coach that when you do a drill that you do it at your top level, you give it 110% because a lot of it's about that effort, that mindset that we're talking about, the ability to, to press through adversity and then to know that this is going to give them an opportunity to gauge where they are at and then be able to help them have a, a basis of how they need to get better. So they actually have an opportunity to see where they stand compared to college athletes, where they're at and then how they can better themselves and ask, for assistance on how to get to that next level. And so we, you know, a lot of times in college, it's about height, weight, speed, and those are the measurables that people mostly look at. But when, when, when all that stuff's going away, they still got to be able to play. They still got to be able to get up there and be ready to bang. So yep. I, I, I love these tests because it gives us a standardized opportunity to, to gauge their athleticism and their ability to, to be an athlete but I like the guys that are going to finish, do all those things, because I want to see 
do they have that met good tomorrow in them? Are they, you know, are they strong? Are they physically and mentally strong? Because when you get in the trenches, when you go against a guy that's five times better than you, do you just quit? Or do you say, man, I got to work harder. And that's a lot of these kids that come from Guam. It's, it's just the ultimate shock to them the very first time. They that's your athletic integrity field. right there. That, that's really yeah. who you are. If, if, you do, yeah. if, you, if you go the extra mile when the coach's head is turned and he can't see you and you're still giving 110%, that says all. 100%. Exactly. Okay, so, uh, yeah, Coach EK, I'd like your, your perspective on this. So, you know, um, when you're dealing with the, um, young athletes and, you know, your, your mission and the work that you've been able to do is getting people to go beyond what they think they're capable of. So how do you actually instill the confidence in people, you know, when they're, when, you know, when they're hurting, when they're tired, when they're having like that little, um, uh, you know, you got the angel on one side, the devil on one side, and he's saying, nah, just quit. You know, it's, it's easier if you just, you know, fold it in. How do you actually get them to, to dig deep and reach within themselves and, and accomplish something that they didn't think was possible? Well, I mean, uh, you know, effort is a learned thing. Uh, so I believe everybody can learn how to work. Um, but then it comes down to discipline, you know, and how disciplined they are. And, and uh, a lot of people will work hard once and then think that, oh, yeah, I work hard enough. So it's, it's kind of just about educating these young athletes and especially the families that it's not once. It's a com- consistency over time, you know, and that's a big part of it. So, you know, they're not going to see success right out of the gates. And they have to understand that. They have to what we consider embrace the grind, embrace embrace the opportunity that they're going to give themselves over time through the evolution of their hard work, their consistency, their, their understanding of the game. And most importantly, obviously is their classroom work, right? Staying ahead uh, and and keeping their grades up so they can get into college. So it's really just kind of teaching them and encouraging them that, you know, they can do it. um, And it has to be consistent through all facets from top down from the, from the home, to the field and the coaches, and then most importantly to the athlete's self-belief. Um, and, and that's what I consider, you know, keeping your circle really small and understanding that, you know, it's, it's in order to be great, you gotta be different and you gotta be alone at times. And are you willing to be alone at times when everybody else wants to just go and have fun? Um, and, and the great ones understand that. The great ones know that it's, it's a, lone, a lonely road up top, but when you're at the top, you know, you've accomplished something that one percent of the one percent have achieved, right? Like a Michael Jordan, you know, Kobe Bryant, uh, a Tom Brady, you know. So uh, that's kind of the thing that these young young athletes and I, I can't stress enough the importance of the family, especially in Guam. The sh- the strength of our culture there, the family, uh, the bonds, and the importance of it. If the family doesn't understand that and the family can't embrace the the grind with the, with the child, um, success is going to be a, a lot tougher challenge for that individual. But if they embrace it as a family and they support them, and then they hold their children accountable once they make that commitment, um, then the road is, is, is simple. You know, work hard, be consistent, um, and that's it. It's, it's a simple thing, but it's not easy. Absolutely, man. Wise, wise words from a very, very, very wise man. Guys, I'm, I'm ready to go, man. Give me some pads. I'm ready to train. <laughs> um, well, see, the, only problem is, the only problem is I'm so skinny, I could, I could like hit the tackling dummy, and the tackling dummy would laugh at me, and the tackling dummy would win. KUAM Sports Weekend Roundup is brought to you by Gatorade. Greatness starts with G. KUAM Sports is brought to you by Docomo Pacific. Better together.